Alrighty, sitting before me is the concept art for what Wonderland posted in their surveys that they sent out to a bunch of their pass holders. So this is a concept for a GCI wooden coaster similar to Zambezi Zinger. Um, we can't confirm if it's going to be exactly similar, but it looks like it in the concept art. But again, concept art shouldn't be taken too seriously. Um, but let's dive into the concept art presented to us because it is the most detailed. It is presenting what I think is a ghost town alive themed area along with the wooden coaster. Um, and the location of this is pretty tricky. So there's two areas that this could be located in. One is definitely the Mindbuster Lift Hill area, and the second is definitely Whitewater Canyon. The reason I'm a little skeptical about the Whitewater Canyon area is the height restrictions next to the highway. So it all depends where they're fitting this. If they're fitting it along the pathway um, that heads towards Splashworks that's in between Whitewater Canyon and Timberwolf Falls, then this would work. If Zambezi Zinger sits literally right on that path, yes, that'll work. But outside of that it behind whitewater canyon it would not work it does not um, meet the codes for the i don't know the right wording for that but it would not work height restriction wise and all that and being built too close to the highway with that in mind what is the wooden coaster that they are looking at so the one on the screen right now is zambezi zinger it is essentially um, what we assume again keywords assume and you know what assuming could do to you um, it could make an out of you and me, but nonetheless, this is what we are gathering. They are thinking of building at Canada's Wonderland in the Frontier Canada area. It is definitely more family oriented keywords. They use the word family oriented, so it would not be high thrill. It would not break any height records. They would not go for anything extreme. It is definitely along the route of theming and storyline telling um, with an epic ending and then fitting into Ghost Town Alive. And that is what I want enthusiasts to know because I see a lot of people online saying, oh, they could do this, they could do that with it. They aren't going to think too outside the box with this specific investment outside of the ending. It does sound like they'll do something pretty cool, cooler than, and a lot of people are like, oh, it's just going to be Mystic Timbers ending. No, I don't, I don't suspect that at all, actually. Cedar Fair has stepped up their game. I think it would do a lot um, more cooler things. Very similar with screen-based and like air pistons and smoke and stuff like that maybe but um definitely a little elevated i'm thinking more like the dollywood fire chaser express with the firework thing um but nonetheless um i'm pretty excited they, these gci even though they're family coasters are really high intense and i'm gonna put one on the screen with my reaction right now for you guys to see a raw reaction So yes, while I say it is going to be a family coaster, it was really fun and pretty intense. I grayed out on a family coaster, if you heard that correctly. Quite embarrassed by it. But nonetheless, um, the addition would be great. And I know that I was preaching yesterday for the Blast Coaster as my main choice. But I'm honestly switching to this new ghost town area. The more I read about it and the more I'm thinking about it, and especially construction marking wise where all these markings. And you're going to see I'm making a video tomorrow um, on some construction markings back there. Um, I really think that Wonderland has this all planned out. That, like, I think, like, full honesty, I, I think that Wonderland knows what they're building over the next three to five years, and they're honestly just gauging um, the guess uh, in their surveys on feedback. So um, what I really um, was curious about is, especially with this one, is in the survey, they were just... Um, kind of getting a survey on the coaster. 
and not the area as a whole, but they had the area as a whole designed with this coaster. So it honestly makes me think that the area as a whole is a confirmed thing, and they're just picking a coaster now for that area, which then also counters what I just said about um, them already having their mind made up and this being 2025 for the wooden one and not the blast coaster. Again, if you have paid attention to my podcast, I have not claimed to know what the coaster is. I have been very honest and transparent with you guys that I only know the price tag when they're going to start construction, which is in December and $35 million is the price tag, which would make sense for the area or, you know, a themed wing coaster as well. Um, and that I don't know the area that this coaster is going in, that I only assumed that Frontier Canada was going to be finished off. That was my only prediction. So this is really up in the air. And um, yeah, I'm really curious about what's going to happen at Canada's Wonderland. I'm really excited about this Ghost Town Alive thing. Comment down below what you guys think. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.